Hi everybody, welcome back Mage Dark Ages with me, Sid, on the Mage Dark Ages server. That's getting a bit of a mouthful actually. Uh, so since the live stream, let's, uh, let me fill you on what I've been up to. You'll notice a few changes. This place is lit now mainly with non-mage lights. There are still a few because I'm having... Well, I tried the trick where you use a carpenter block and then a bit of glowstone dust shift clicked onto it. And it lit the place up. But mob spawned. Um, now apparently that was supposed to be fixed, it's looking not so fixed. So we went back, I've, um, I hope you'll notice the distinct lack of chests about and that is because I have compressed everything into either diamond or glowstone dust uh, or iron. Um, so I've put it through the transmutation table, I've learned everything we've got, except for the couple, I haven't done that. And uh, yeah, we've... Uh, We've got quite a bit learned. We've learned quite a few blocks. This is all the blocks with the MC that I had anyway. So, uh, well, that, I didn't have any space for that. I've got no idea what that spell was, actually. What were you? Oh, the light spell. Okay. Um, I need somewhere to pop that for now. can go in there. And that bit of salt I'll just bin in a moment. So yeah, we've got um, some carpenter's pillars, uh, barriers, and they, they've got glowstone and a bit of heat and hidden glowstone under there. We've added some um, fountains into the water with that. I've started slightly excavating back here, but I haven't really done much there. Because what I, what I would like to do this episode, let me just think, I am two down, so I was thinking... I know I could have I could have used my dig spell on that, but let's just check because I didn't quite get to sleep before night fell. There's a cerebrum blossom there. We'll have that later. So what I'm thinking is I want to bring this up a couple of levels, the entrance here, so it'll be off of at this level. And I want to get my entrance to the man cave built. So let me. Because once I've got the entrance built, then I can start to think about the structure of, of how this is going to branch off, what, what we're going to stick in the um, different rooms, start getting some rooms together for the Ars Magica, maybe uh, the Blood Magic is something we, we need to consider. Um, so I am going to get a few stacks of sandstone. Uh, pump, pump, pump. Oh, that's the thing. So let me have a look at sand... Stone, bang, oh, that didn't get us a huge amount, did it? I'm going to need to hmm, turn down my ambient as well, I think. Uh, music and sounds, ambient and environment, 15. Hmm, is it ambient? I thought that would have been ambient. Uh, music and sounds, hostile. Creatures, friendly creatures, weather, blocks. No. Nope. Uh, okay, anyway, so I need to grab a whole bunch of sandstone. Because obviously Egyptian, you know, we need sandstone. Uh, just pile a load of that in and go for sandstone bum 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 up some fall again da 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 yeah that'll do for starters um and obviously i've got best part of a stack of diamonds now so i'm i'm kind of feeling quite happy um, with the amount of EMC I've got stored. So what I am thinking here, let me just uh, bring my reference image up that I've got. So yeah, that, that will work. So if we come at this level and maybe come back to here and I want it to be four wide and then You'll have a space there, and we'll have some sandstone going on at this point. I'm just going to mark this with raw sandstone for the time being. And this will come out... I just need to uh, 
when I get to level, I'm hoping at level 23 I will get a green skill point. So then you've got that, then we've got one other one like that. Um, yeah, we're going to be excavating a fair chunk of this hill <laughs> to, to make this. So that's going that way, then same again here. There, and one more. And that will go there. We'll have that, because that's good EMC. Is that all there was? Type wad. So that'll be... The entrance will be in the middle here. And... That's the start point. Now, what I... Let's let's chisel some of this up and actually make a start on this. Because this, this is going to be pretty damn tall. Uh, smooth sandstone pillar base. Do I want to do it as pillars? Do I? Or do I want to just go with, at this point, a fairly smooth sandstone block, I think, actually. Again, so no, I'm just kind of doing my usual winging it with the design to a degree. I've got some ideas and I've got a reference image. So let's go on to... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, I think 20 is good. Okay, this is going to hurt a little, but not as much as if I'd have done it from the ground down there. Let's just give myself a little bit more dirt scaffold and then we'll do another dirt scaffold there and then we can use the hill as a as a means of getting down so as gateways go it's going to be pretty big <laughs> it's nowhere near as big as my reference um, there is a limit to how big I want this to be so we can just drop down here and then drop down. You see, that's better, much more civilized. And uh, and then same again here. One, two. Okay. Oh, nearly went too fast. <laughs> right. So that that is will be the top. In fact, let me uh, see if I can't just cap this off a little uh, and then we need to repeat rinse and repeat on the other side of course the the nice thing with one of the tricks I I often use if I'm counting rather than going one two three four um, and if you want to use say you want it to be 20 high well break your stack down and put the amount you want oops not quite that's 19 20 on your hotbar and then you're in the same can I reach that from here I can let's just get my scaffold in and similarly we'll do that one uh, just in case I want to and then we get an even 20 every time. So, yeah, it's just little, it's not so helpful when you're <laughs> building in creative, of course. Um, but one of my little one of my little build tricks. And if you know it, then you know it. And if you don't, then you don't. So this is going to be. there and then take two of those off I mean obviously once you've got one in place it's fairly easy to work and we are going to have to go and sleep because it's getting dark so I need to do that and then be there'll be some behind that we'll be bridging across the top there there's a few bits and pieces so let me get the basic structure in and uh, oh, I've been attacked by a moth excuse me and I will be back with you in 
a little while. All right, well, we're getting there steadily. This is it's quite a big build, uh, and it's becoming a bit more complicated than I thought. So I've got my dirt scaffold, but ignore that. Um, this is the doorway, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I haven't built the sides in yet, and you put a load of hieroglyphs. It's all, it's all Egyptian to me. Uh, in there, and then what we have got, and I think we're going to need to do this from up top, is these two channels, and they are going to be water channels. Where uh, windmill workers from. Uh, don't think so. Yeah. So, yeah, we're up the top here. Uh, we'll go and do it on this side. And what we need to do is, for starters, have I got? Yes, I have. We need to take that out. And we are going to uh, pop that in there. And then do the same on this side. Uh, I forgot. For some reason, I thought I got three channels, so I brought three buckets of water up rather than four. But of course, I don't have three channels. I have two channels on each one. So I'm going to put our water in there. We're going to put our water in here. And maybe uh, I'm going to. This is probably not going to be overly visible and fit for those users who can fly players who can fly aka not me so yeah let's just go down and look at that one I can get the other one done separately but I'm not dissatisfied with what we've got so far I've brought the uh, ent cave entrance level up yeah that, and this will continue out this way I'm just doing so <laughs> um so I need to repeat that on that side. I'm going to have a design in the middle, and then either side of this is going to be an even larger tower poking up, so more sandstone. Um, this is going to be kind of a central plaza. We'll probably get some steels and try and get some... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Statues, maybe. Something like Ibis or something like that. But this is going to be a honking great big Egyptian entrance. Uh, and I'm probably going to use Carpenter's Doors um, here. <laughs> so it's going to be like a huge Carpenter's Door. But yeah, so I've, I've got that done. I need to go and get another bucket of water. And... Uh, now, you see, how did he spawn here? If that had been a creeper, th there is no spawnable spot in this place. There is not a single point, as far as I can see, where mobs could spawn. And uh, baffling me. Colour me baffled. I mean, there's nothing. There's not a single yellow cross or a red cross in here. So... Baggered if I know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get that done anyway. I'll continue on just working on the uh, the actual main structure because obviously it's quite tedious and boring. Uh, and I will be back with. Okay, well I've uh, I've just been out exploring. Uh, I was after uh, where are we? Not that pack. This pack. This stuff, dark oak and some dark oak saplings, just so we don't have to go out getting dark oak again uh, and picked up a whole load of other stuff these cinder pearls for example uh, they're about three iron ingots in EMC so definitely worth you know shearing those up um, records a buttload of stuff so yeah um, but that as I say that wasn't what I went for what I went for was some dark oak and the it's not finished on the outside. I've got the central section of the external build done. So, as you can see, we're coming up 
we have got a fairly hefty entrance hall going on here. Um, I started off thinking that I was going to keep the entire build exposed, but I then decided it would look nice if it was actually kind of buried into the mountain, so I'm going to be hiding some of this under dirt, not all of it, this is obviously the roof, is that? It is. Those hungry spiders, um, they're supposed to be disabled and they are not. And they are tough, they're, those two, the, the two up there have got about 500 hit points between them. So yeah, large entrance hall, um, a bit bland at the moment, uh, but we're moving through into here. I'm just going to prepare myself, I've been having mobs spawning in here and I do not know where there I've gone around and manually checked the block light level and there is nowhere nowhere in here that mobs can spawn uh, that I can find anyway but I've had a couple of skeletons and a zombie so far so yeah anyway uh, enough grumbling about mobs spawning let me get up top here and just get this going and then we can get uh, the cheapest but probably one of the most effective doors out there uh, I want this to be uh, as I said dark oak I want it to really contrast against this sandstone because this is a, a very heavy sandstone build so let us let me do two stacks for now and let me get the chisel and let's decide what to that that might work hmm let's have a look oh bum <laughs> unless of course you yeah I think that's the beastie now uh, what we do need to do is find my hammer and find the do we want that or do I don't like that that is really not in keeping neither is that I think it's that one and we can just get down here I can take this out and just basically bum must remember not to stop crouching. Can I reach down there? I can. When we uh, when we're doing this, otherwise it don't work. Let's go and have a look at that now. Yep, that's, that's looking pretty good, is it? Yeah, that's a carpenter's pressure plate. Uh, let's just try that. Uh, I mean, it is... Pretty fast. But uh, we can get some more of those going. Hopefully there's nothing spawned in here. I'm really paranoid now. Uh, I know Eli has cursed me, but he was just doing the one that kind of jerks you around a bit. So, I mean, yeah. Jerks. Do you know what I mean? Uh, oh, I need a bit more than that, don't I? Carpenters. Blocks. Give me... Yeah, that's enough. And we'll do one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. And that should do us, I think. And then we can uh, pop those there. And then we can set this to players only. I think it's maybe players only anyway, but I... I do like to make sure. 
Ooh, where are we? Activate animals, entities, players. Activate entities, players. Entities, players. Animals, entities, players. And then we just need something suitable for the um, for the things. I think probably just if we just go with that. Actually, let's not be overly fancy. Except, of course, I haven't got much um, sandstone on me. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose that the thing that is making me a little bit paranoid is the thought that it's not the fact that things are spawning in here. Well, it is the fact that things are spawning in here because they shouldn't be able to. But um, I'm worried about creeper spawning in here because... You know, if I'm not on the ball, then uh, things will look bad. But that's I, I'm happy enough with that as a start. There is um, a couple of things we could do. Could possibly try and get a little bit of curvature in there, maybe. Um, but but that is not bad. <laughs> Well, I don't think it's bad anyway. We need some lights outside and stuff, but we're getting there. Anyway, um, the other thing is while I've been doing all of this and digging and using my dig spell, I have got to level 24, and I now have two green hoofers. So I would like to get utility and mining power for starters and I would also like area of, oh I need do I need to unlock why can I not unlock that then alright that's fire damage lightning damage frost ah there we go that's unlocked it so that will give us area of effect so we should be able to get a dig spell going. Um, I need to just tidy my inventory and then and check how long we've been going, but I think we should be good to uh, at least get the book done, if not get the spell sorted. So uh, dig dig mark final, I think is the uh, well until we get the uh, where are we over here? I think it's on the utility side. Prosperity. We need to build a spell to open that one, and I, I don't know what the spell is. I did it by accident once, which was great, but yeah. Anyway, I'll sort myself out and be back. Okay, um, so the first thing we're going to need is to upgrade our table, because our inscription table is only got two slots, and I want to do three slots, I think. Power, uh, yeah, probably. So we need to make... I can't do the tier 3, I haven't got enough pig fat at the moment, but um, book string, feather and some dye, so book, string, feather and ink will give us a tier 1 upgrade. And if we take, let me get this right, it is clay, oh, uh, the tier 2 requires some wizard's chalk, which is Clay, bone meal, bintium, flint, and paper. And it requires some carpet, and it's a bit of carpet, book, and wizard's chalk gives us the tier 2. Uh, and because I had to go and make wool to make carpet, I'm going to teach. Oh, boom, that's not going to. That is not going to work if I do that. How much was that got anyway? 32. So, we take our tier 1, right click, and oh, we got some books, and now we've got three slots. Now the tier 2, pop those on, it gets a bit more fancy, and we've got four slots. I only need three, but we've got four. The final thing we're going to need is a book, feather, and ink to make a written book. Maybe I should do book, if I do two, um... 
then I can get it to learn a written book and that will save me a little bit of crafting in the future. Ink. Duh, duh. I'm still trying to get a grip on um, what the best I... So I made a buttload of diamonds and obviously they are 8192 EMC. We've got 384 in glowstone. Iron's not a bad one to store it in. Gold is quite a good one. So I think probably gold, diamond, gold and iron is, a, is probably the ideal storage mix. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, I was doing written books, wasn't I? Yes. Bang, and we'll... Uh, EMC of that is 224. Teach it books, have a quick sleep, because otherwise, you know, everybody else is going to want to sleep. And uh, we'll get the spell design. We're not going to get a chance to build it this time, because I think we're going to need to upgrade our altar somewhat as well. Uh, so... Yeah, that's and, and there's quite going to be quite a lot of recipe crafting items involved. So come on, guys, do your thing. So yeah, we've got a little bit more on the entrance area to do. I'll probably do some of that off camera uh, between episodes because it is a little bit tedious, um, and I'd like to get an area built in here for magic. Probably ours, magic actually. So we'll stick our book in. So we're going to have a projectile spell and it is going to be dig. We're also going to have a projectile spell and we're also going to have a projectile spell. Now the first one is going to be mining power wherever you have gone. There we go. Modify it. Mining power. Mining power. Mining power. The second one will be silk touch and the third one will be area of effect. Um, so this will be like a mattock, a 3x3. Three three. Now I could stack to a more area of effects and make it bigger, but I don't like, I like um, things. I'm going to call it a digger, because it's the, the final version, until we get prosperity. Now, you can see here we've got immediate, we've got things, so we've got 1, 2, 3, we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine items and if we were to look at our arcane compendium uh, to in here I've got unlocked quite a bit but oh we've got boss mobs available as well the crafting altar so with witchwood we get two effects and with redstone blocks we get three effects so that's five and then I'm guessing you probably get one. Well, no, you're never going to. So that's five. We need to go to Nether Brick, which will be three effects. And probably, well, that, we could go Diamond. That's a bit. Moonstone might actually be more effective because we've got EMC for that. So we may do Moonstone blocks, which will be nine. Haven't got Sunstone yet, so that's um, a ways off. But then we also need to look at the spell itself, because there's some stuff in here which I know I haven't got. So, Earth Essence. So we're going to need to get into uh, the Essence um, thingy, hoofer job. We're going to need two Air Essence. We're going to need Feather, Chimerite. We're going to need Moodstone. We're also going to need 1000 Essence. So we're going to need to get a Obelisk going as well. So we're not going to get that built this episode. Um, TNT, easy. The rest of it is pretty straightforward. Oh, and don't forget the three diamond pickaxes. So yeah, we've got um, our work cut out for us there. But on the whole... Oh yeah, you can't walk on that. It's a real... I mean, obviously this mod is very, very, very beta. I mean, probably not even beta. It's possibly even alpha. But... Um, yeah, I think we're getting there steadily. We've got, I like that, that's kind of nice. We'll get some more stuff going on around here, extend this down. These will probably be about out to there and that high, and then there's going to be another section which goes out that way, and it'll probably kind of poke over there, actually. I don't think we'll have much of the other side visible. It'll just be poking out the top. Um, but I'm happy with the... Uh, 
progress obviously keeping an Egyptian feel and uh, yeah I think until next time get rid of those two leaf blocks the bugging me um, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you soon and bye for now